a lot of times when we're stressed out and when we are hurting and when we are recovering from being with a toxic person, the question of why comes up a lot. Like, why did this happen? Why are they this way? Why do I deserve this? Why, 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 right? So lots of whys. The problem with why most of the time, unless it's truly something that you don't understand, when you're asking why about something that you do understand or you do know that there's like, are already an answer. The person's a toxic person. The person's a narcissist. So on. We know how narcissists act. So we know the why. When we're asking why, when we already know what we're doing is basically chasing our tail. We are going from a question to an answer that we already know back to a question, back to an answer. So we're, we're ending up right where we start. Why will always lead you right back to where you start. And it's not going to lead you down a path of healing. It's going to lead you down a path of maintaining the status quo, which is the trauma bonding and the pain and the suffering that you're in. So I think it's kind of important to stop asking those whys. Those whys aren't going to help you. Instead, we can ask questions like, what is it about this I need to learn? What about myself can I learn so that this doesn't happen again? What about narcissism don't I understand so that I can understand it better and learn to see that none of this was my fault. This was the other person's actions because of how they are and the way they think and the way just basically that they are in life. Why keeps you running in the hamster wheel? Why keeps you from acceptance? It keeps you from accepting that the toxic person in your life did the toxic things that they do because they have a toxic personality disorder. It keeps you feeling like you have some form of responsibility for anything that they did and makes it so that you feel like somehow you were supposed to fix it or there was something about you that that is making it wrong in the first place, right? So unless you're new to narcissism in general or you're new to understanding what's going on, that's a question you might want to examine and look at for yourself to see if you're using it to hold you in place and to not allow you to heal. I know we want to heal and we want to get better, but there's a piece of us that wants to maintain the status quo and keep in contact with the toxic person or keep ruminating about the toxic person. And it's not want in the sense of like, oh my gosh, I want that. It's it's like a um, a brain loop, right? That keeps us stuck there. And this question of why is part of that loop. So you can ask yourself when you hear yourself say, why did this happen? Why are they like this? Why did I get treated like this? Why me? Why? Why is this happening? You can ask yourself, am I seeking a deeper truth? Am I see seeking more understanding for anything in particular? And if so, what? And then how can I rephrase that so that it isn't becoming this repeating cycle of the why question. How can I restate the question? It's a form of defiance that keeps you from a truth. It keeps you from acceptance. It's very difficult to accept things as they are, that the reality that you knew wasn't a real reality. It was a narcissistic delusion that you were part of because you were believing the lie they were telling you. A lot of this stuff is very hard to accept. So the why questions some for some people really keep them trapped in this sort of defiant state of not wanting to accept truths. So as I said, to free yourself from this, stop asking the why questions. When you, when you do say them, because you will again, if this is your pattern, just catch it, just notice it and tell yourself, stop, we're not asking that question. We're gonna choose a different question. I'm going to choose a different question. I'm going to state it as a statement instead of a question. Why did they treat me like this? It, two, they treated me like this. It feels completely different in your body. Your, your emotions respond to it differently. Your mind responds to it differently. And things begin to change when you stop asking the same question over and over again that really is a, a point in your life that is, or really is a question in your life that is blocking you from healing. The why turns into lament and rumination and makes you feel stuck. So as an exercise for this, if you wish to take it on, try restating. Try restating it every time you feel it, every time you hear it, especially when you feel it, before it comes out your mouth or before it becomes a thought, if you can. If you can't and you need to catch it after, that's okay too. Just restate it. You, you feel those whys, you feel the stuck, you feel the loop back to the toxic person. So here's the thing. The why question keeps you in question of the toxic person, which keeps you in relationship or a form of relationship, basically a relationship with yourself, with them in your head. It keeps them in your head. The whole point is we need to learn to be indifferent. We need to learn to get these people out of our heads 
and send back to them whatever was theirs, right? And not take it on ourselves, not carry them around on our back and in our heads and under our skin and all the places that they stick because they are energy drains and they are energy vacuums and they will pull it out of you and keep it for themselves. And then at the same time, dump all their stuff onto you and expect you to be the one to take it on, to fix, to deal with, to hurt for, to feel bad about all that stuff. No. Why is this happening? Why did this happen? When you know the answer already, okay? There are legitimate why questions, but these are not them. <laughs> why why me's, right? Why did this happen? How could they? That's the other one. How could they be so? How could they do these things? We already know how they could do these things. They have no empathy or very limited empathy, and they have no ability to take accountability or no desire to take accountability for their actions. That's all we need to know to know that that's what we're dealing with. We have to accept that. Beyond that, there is no how could they. They could because of those things. So we know this. And I, if you didn't know that, there you go. Now you know it. So stop with the how coulds, stop with the why dids, and switch it to they did this, they are that, they behaved this way, the actions they took were this, and it's not about you, okay? A lot of times people think, if only I. That's another one, if only I. Stop those. There is no if only I. If only you did something different, they would do something different, equally narcissistic, and you'd have a different experience of the narcissist, which would be equally bad. These, as having a toxic person in your life, you cannot make healthy. You cannot take a healthy pot of soup and pour poison in and think it's going to ever be healthy soup. That is what they do in relationship. They pour a toxicity into the relationship. You can't make a healthy relationship from that. So stop thinking you can. Stop thinking it was your fault and move on to become healthy and learn to have healthier relationships with healthy people and learn to say no and goodbye to the ones that aren't healthy for you. So that's it for today. Stop with the why if you can. Think about it. Um, if you need help, if you need someone to talk to, or if you need coaching, you can find information in the main description of every video. You can find information for group coaching. You can find information for private coaching and as for uh, free peer support as well. So check that out. If you need anything else, my email's in there as well. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.